These entitled people think rules don't apply to them. Don't we all wish that rules didn't apply to us in a perfect world? This jerk let his dog poop in the hallway of a hotel I managed, didn't clean it up, <gasps> didn't tell anyone, then argued when I charged him a cleanup fee. Not even hardwood, not even tile, a carpet. <laughs> One time I was away from the dinner table when the bill came and my sister-in-law waited for me to return to pay the bill by actually handing it to me. She didn't give it to her sibling, my significant other, or pay her half, but expressly handed it to me to pay. <laughs> Damn. I feel like if someone leaves the table and the bill comes, it's, you just usually, no, at least pay your half, offer to pay your half, I'm like at least pay your half, be like, can you split it? Anything. My uncle is this soft-spoken giant. He never stands up to my aunt in any way, except once. At their daughter's wedding, she was about to interrupt the ceremony to close a window because she was chilly. Everyone sitting could hear her whisper, I'm gonna do it, but I don't wanna be annoying. My uncle, in a calm, quiet tone, says quickly, why stop now? You're already annoying. Like you might as well at this point. You're already interrupting the ceremony. You might as well just get up, put the cherry on top and open the window. You should just suck it up sometimes. That's life. My mom literally overreacts to everything. Whenever something doesn't go her way, she's got to speak to the manager or whoever is in charge. It's really embarrassing to go out in public with her because she'll just yell at the service workers for the smallest of things. That's what the world calls <laughs> These days, I know people like that. Uh, yep, hate, hate going to public with them. Once a friend turned to me for approval and said something like, can you believe the way they're treating me? And I said something like, well, you're being very rude. So, and she went off on me. If anything, at least she stopped screaming at the cashier. <laughs> La dee da, thank God for the cashier. They get a nice little break from the Karen. My wife's aunt's wife, whoa, my wife's aunt's wife <laughs> is a horrible person. Just off the top of my head, at her mother-in-law's funeral, she literally stole all the trays of catered food out of the oven before anybody ate and left. Hold on, your wife's aunt's wife pieces out with the food? My thoughts exactly. A few years ago, we went out to eat. The restaurant served bread and butter before the meal. The butter was whipped. I hate whipped butter. My mom insisted they bring her real butter. The waitress went back to the kitchen and came back and told her what she had was butter. How dare she? My mom, who apparently is infallible in her ability to detect butter, started acting like a brat to the waitress about it. Okay, I love butter. I am a butter queen. Like you better know, I will lather that on. Potatoes, anything. Delicious. Yum. However, if I go to a restaurant and all they have is whipped butter, I will eat that just the same. I'm not having some dry ass buns. Once we went to buy food and my mom ordered four burgers for the four of us. She pulls out one of the bag. <laughs> she pulls one out of the bag while the guy is getting our drinks and hides it. She complains that he forgot a burger. She pulls them out one by one and counts them in front of him. It's obviously missing because she hid it and he's swearing up and down that he put them all in the bag. I'm stunned speechless and it happened so fast. She got a free burger and laughed as we drove off. <gasps> so your mom's a thief. That's great. Stealing a ball from a little girl. <gasps> oh my God, like very clearly stealing the ball. That girl's arms are to her chest and she is holding on with all her might. Look at her little face. Oh my God, look at her little face. Ooh, she's like, no. I hope someone, another adult stepped in and was like, Karen, back away from the child. Oh, that's terrible. She's a super Karen. Oh no. Anti-mask Karen wants a cut of the 100K race for the barista who stood up to her. <gasps> I saw this TikTok. Well, this video was on TikTok. This guy recorded a Karen 
this Karen. The whole thing happened. He stood up to her. She was being completely rude and irrational. Anyways, he lost his job because of the video. So the community of TikTok came together and raised 100K for him. <gasps> That's insane. Probably over that, honestly. Mm, you want to cut? I just lost my job, Karen. Shame. That is such a Karen thing to do. Be a Karen, be so rude to someone that they post about online, lose their job, and then try to go after the money that the community raised. Like what a Karen move. Customer tries to get out of tipping me by saying, I don't speak English. So I should, wait, so he said, I don't speak English in English. So I show him and say, tip slash money. He still acts like he doesn't get it and says, Francais. So I start talking in French and he freezes the F up because he doesn't speak F in French. <laughs> you know, I have joked about that before. Like we've seen that in Bridesmaids where she like pretends she's no longer English. She goes, oh, Mrs. Ingracias. You know that scene? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but I would never do that in real life because what are the odds that they start speaking the language I'm pretending to be and then I'm screwed. Yeah, no. Police say a woman driving the wrong way on US 20 hit speeds of 100 miles per hour, waved at an officer attempting to pull her over, and once she finally stopped, told police she was headed to a friend's house for a picnic and thanked them for using their lights and sirens to clear the way for her so she could get there faster. <laughs> Oh, you have very much missed the point. Oh my God, imagine being that officer though. Oh my God, thank you so much for helping me. <coughs> I just swallowed air. That was so strange. What a very strange feeling that just happened inside my body. Oh, that's it. Okay, good. Cause my chest almost exploded out of my body. All right, you guys. Well, apparently these rules did not apply to these entitled people. I'm getting out of here, you guys. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Just suck it up, that's life. I almost spilled some tea and said who I was thinking of, but I didn't. Cause I don't know who watches my videos.